Bize daha bir şey okuyorsun. <gülüyor> My name is Quintus Jett. Uh, my aim is to be a living call to action for an engaged scholarship. And, and what do I mean by that? Well, uh, let me put it this way. When, when others hear that I'm a university professor, they usually ask two things or want to know two things. One is, uh, what do I teach? That's the first thing. Or second, it'll be, how does the expertise that I have translate uh, to a real world problem? How is my academic expertise relevant to things happening in the real world? Um, but I can tell you that, and actually others who are professors can tell you as well, that those two things are very much at odds with how we are typically evaluated and promoted. And so an engaged scholarship is, in a, is, a, is an approach to bring these three things together. Um, I think bringing these three things together would normally be something that's futile, except for the fact that I've been in the profession over 20 years, and my expertise is organization theory and innovation. So I could go on at length for why we don't see engaged scholarship more often. Uh, however, I also see uh, that there are ways that all of us together might create this engaged scholarship among, among more professors um, and others at the university. So in other words, because of the, uh, the background that I do have, uh, I've been stepping into the uh, uncertainty and at times enduring some cost to learn how to do it this engaged scholarship so that other people like me will be able to do it in the future and as an engaged scholar my mission is to do whatever I can to be able to uh, properly uh, equip and uh, develop organizational models and propagate knowledge to help all the social innovators out there to be able to be more effective in what they do and to uh, develop some kind of in collective impact. Well, like, why do I want this? Well, part of it uh, th is that I don't believe we can wait. There's a lot, there are a lot of problems in the world um, having, having to do with, um, with a lot of uh, environmental changes, like in our physical environment, as well as a lot of uh, other concerns in, uh, in our in our society uh, in terms of the societal change. And basically it's my conclusion as an organization theorist that we really don't have time to wait for existing models of uh, organizations and institutions and we don't have time to wait uh, for universities to just continue with their existing model in order to address those challenges. So I don't think we can wait under the conventional model which is why I seek to be an engaged scholar and develop innovative ways of, uh, of operating and of working with others. But the, but the good news is this. Um, I actually believe that this is the most, most wonderful time in human history. I mean, I know there's a lot of pessimism about what's going on in the world, but I don't think the world has ever really had this many resources ever in human history. This is, in, in a global scale, this is one of the wealthiest times in human history. This is also one of the um, uh, most skilled. We have never been so many people in this world who have great diverse skill sets, depth of expertise, and uh, an express willingness in their heart to try to use those skills to make it better uh, for all of us. And so the key is not really uh, do we have enough resources in this world, but do we have the organization in order to access those resources so that we can all work together uh, for our common benefit and the public good.